Well, Stone the Crows, Ubisoft actually managed to keep a secret for once. It's a secret that I'm about to reveal though, so this is your last chance to run away if you don't want spoilers. Right, now they've gone on to business. Turns out there's a hidden mode in Assassin's Creed Syndicate that not only allows you to get your assassination on in World War I, but also allows you to control a brand new, previously unannounced female assassin named Lydia Fry. The World War I mode and its handful of missions will open up around the time you unlock Sequence 6, which can take around 10 to 15 hours of playtime, depending on how rubbish you are. It took me about 15 hours. At that point, a time anomaly will open up on the right-hand side of the map, smack bang in the centre of the River Thames. Enter that and you'll be transported forward a couple of generations and plonked into the body of Lydia Fry, the granddaughter and great-niece of the game's main two heroes, Jacob and Evie Fry. Lydia, whose parents are off engaging in assassin missions across the continent, was trained in the ways of the stabby wrist by Jacob and Evie in their absence, and she has access to the game's full skill tree of perks, so she's a pretty formidable fighter. Who the devil is She's not the only surprise character in this section though, a young Winston Churchill features heavily and acts as a mission giver who tries to rope Lydia into joining the British Secret Service. If you could put your considerable talents to good use at Tower Bridge, you would have the thanks of a brave but beleaguered nation. I would settle for the right to vote. In last year's Assassin's Creed Unity, there were similar time-travelling sections set around the Eiffel Tower, but they were merely quick challenge maps. The World War I section of Syndicate is a mini sandbox and has a range of different missions set around Tower Bridge, and one of the first things you'll need to do is scale it. Another mission involves shooting down enemy aircraft with a ship-mounted AA gun, while the rest make up a small selection of Liberation side missions, similar to the ones you'll encounter in the main game. As is usual with these games, the attention to detail in the architecture is great. The feeling of scaling a bridge I've crossed many times before in real life was fantastic, and to be honest, this whole section of World War I era London looks really authentic and makes me hope for a full Assassin's Creed game set in and around this time period. But maybe with pirate ships in it, because... Black Flag is still the best Assassin's Creed there is, blatantly. So far, I'm pretty happy with how Assassin's Creed Syndicate is. I'm enjoying it. And I could not say that for Unity. Unity felt very stuffy. Dull. Like a slot, like a hard slog to get through. This feels a little bit more like Assassin's Creed Black Flag for me. Okay, so kill the foreman. Free all children. Do not trigger the alarm. <laughs> 